So we've only walked uh, a few minutes and we've come across the nudist camp. So if you see FKK on any signs, any campsites, that means it's a nudist camp. So as the sign says there, no bikinis, oh, swimwear, no cameras. We can't see anybody down there, but not that we're looking to see. We can see anybody, of course. <laughs> so we're continuing along this lovely walk towards the shops. And it's about, what was the temperature today? 24 degrees today. So, look at those houses right up there in the trees. We're just coming down the road from the lovely houses there. You've got the weir right over there. Massive wide river. Mountains, mountains, look at the stunning view that they've, they've got from their properties up there. I mean, we've got a lovely view and we're nearly down to the bottom. Just amazing. Walking up there with these poles, Nordic walking poles. Look at these houses up here. We have seen so many people, I mean, loads of people, Nordic walking with their poles and I've got my Nordic walking poles. Maybe this is Nordic walking country. My God, I hope you don't see the mole that dug that hole. Still walking to the shops, but I just have to keep stopping and showing you this area. Yeah, I just come across these um, new houses that are built into the hill. And this one's got a wooden horse. Bear. Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> Gosh, doesn't look horse awesome, there. He's got. Is it a bear? That's a horse. Actually. It's a horse bear. Anyway, let us know what you think that might be. A bear or a horse? Now, this is a bear. Yeah, so these. They're like bungalows, but they're actually houses built right into the mountains. Here's a little fact for you. They are actually called bungalows. If you never knew why they were called bungalows, it's because they bungalow roof on. That's not a fact. It is a fact. So there, we're just having a walk through these woods here and we thought, What's this? It looks interesting. And actually, a Mark is going to demonstrate for you. <laughs> it's an exercise. Squat, dipper, thingy, whatever you call it. <laughs> so, it's one of seven. So, we've just... Well, um, seven. Oh, this is number seven. So, look at that. <laughs> Brilliant, is that? <laughs> Just found another exercise. Oh, we've got that lovely pine smell coming through here. We just found another exercise. Just going to go up and have a look at that. Just a log. Number nine. Push up. Then they've got your stretches. Really good. Just walked into this little town. Lovely little pub there. Yeah, it's a really lovely little place. We're just videoing this road. All these coloured um, circles on and that. And it's to warn you that there's a school, you're coming up to a school. Isn't that brilliant? Imagine living up here, on the edge of the forest, 
So you can go for lovely walks. And you've got all this beautiful view. This is so uplifting. It really is. I would love a view like this. Outside your front door. That's Mark ringing the bell. He's just rung the bell. It's a nice sounding bell. Another barn there. Wood just there. Next door there. Just lovely. This is just down from the forest that we've just come down. And we just saw this morning, this morning we did a bit of research, that uh, Slovenia is one of the safest countries to live in. So they've got these on the roof there to stop the snow sliding off. Primroses just everywhere, just absolutely I've never seen so many primroses in all my life than I have here in the gardens, on the banks, on the side of the road, in the forests, just everywhere. It's amazing. All this wood loaded up, all stacked up, seasoning. I see all the newish wood, it's all the old wood. Looks quite pretty actually. The little insect houses. We can't stop, keep going on about it. I know we're probably driving you all up the wall. <laughs> but if we like something, we we'll say. And if we don't, we'll also say. So this morning, we are just leaving this area here where we are and we are traveling along the old motorway to here and then here 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 brilliant barns way too steep as you go past that uh, left hand bend too steep to go down and sort of gravel road and we'll just be as we're front wheel drive just be spinning to come back up so it's just not worth chancing it and it's starting to rain and it's starting to rain but look at this beautiful stunning area we love Slovenia absolutely falling in love with it there isn't anywhere so far that we have not loved about this place. We're just going to turn around and go back down. Park up, have a sandwich. So we're trying to get to a monastery, but um, it is quite a restricted road, so we won't. We're just looking out for a camper stop now, but there are some caves around here. But apparently, they're not open yet to look around. But um, Mark's been looking, and um, he's found that there are loads of camper stops, so like airs, around. So Slovenia is really welcoming motorhome people. This is the camper stop. Yeah. Your destination is on the left. This, this is amazing. All free. Here we are. Camper stop. Big spaces as well. Huge spaces. They said you could get your on and out if you wanted to. They've got electric. Unbelievable. Electric and there is water here and obviously waste and that. Looking right out onto the river. Just fantastic. We love you, Slovenia. The 
just jump out the motorhome for a minute and um, show you where we've parked up. So first of all, they've got uh, these e obviously electric hookups here, and um, so some coins or I'm not sure if that's a credit card you can pay by. No, so it's just coins that you can put in there. Tells you all what to do there, and I suppose that's all the voltage and what have you. But um, yeah, so here we are. Parked up. Now this is a free air um, they call them camping parks in Slovenia but look at the view you've got you've got the river down there you've got a lovely bridge just over there and a little town which we'll have a little wander into after we've had a sandwich so Beautiful view. Apparently you can hire kayaks here and canoes. So the weather's not very good today. It's a bit rainy. Typical, it looks like an English day. But look at this. So a space for, we've got two, four, five, six, seven uh, motorhomes there. Now it is just off of this road here. And I've just read on Park for the Night, and why do people moan, for goodness sake? This is a free air with supplying electricity, which is like about 50 cents or something. It's got its wastewater, um, black water, etc. there, but it's free to stay. And the amount of people that have moaned on Park for the Night, most of them, are English speaking. So from the UK somewhere I've moaned. Honestly, try and find places like this in the UK, especially in England where it is illegal to wild camp. There is nowhere that we know of that is set up like this. So that's where we've just stayed there and had a lovely lunch. The bus driver or the conductor chappy on this bus has just given us a wave. They're all very friendly. They stuff these all over, mustn't they? These coloured. Yeah. They're good. That lovely church there. Yeah. yeah, such a good idea. Is that the school? That is the school. Gosh, look at that posh school. Wow. That is the school. turning up at another free uh, camper park, stroke air. Massive bays. These are huge bays. Barbecue area, seating, electric again, uh, bins, and down there is the black and grey waste. And that chappy there walk, pushing his push chair. There. Nice chappy. Waved us in this way because the other way we tried to get in, there's roadworks and we couldn't get in. So, all very friendly, I'd say. I'm finding everybody very friendly here. So, we're in an area called Chaosco. And. We just turned up in this camper park, they call it, air. And again, we've got the electric here. So it's the same, all the same electric, same design of the three. There we go. All looks, this is new. This is a new um, area site. So again, with all you put your coins in there, tells you there what to do got some lights here as well and we we're just saying how big these bays are they're huge you can actually get your awning out and your tables now normally if you're parking in an air um, you are not supposed to put your tables and chairs out in Spain anyway I don't know what the rules are here in Slovenia but just let me come across here and um, have a little 
turn around. Look at the size of these bays. Don't you can see them. They're huge. So I think we've got, how many have we got here? We've got one, two, well, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve bays. So up here, obviously they've got the bins here. All looking brand new and with bin liners in. Very quiet here. There's a road over there. Um, we can't hear it at all. There's a sports ground on the left to us. You can hear somebody kicking the ball, but that's what you're going to do in a sports ground, isn't it? So, and um, look at this barbecue. It's a pity the weather's not <laughs> warm. Um, you'd be out having a lovely barbecue. This is amazing. Look at this. Look at that. That's just. Isn't that great? Barbecue. Put your fire there. And then here, it's like fire pit. So you've got your seat round, get some logs burning, have a fire pit. How fantastic is that? So there's two of those. That one and this one over here. That's just brilliant. So you can get all the people around to have a little chit chat and warm up, have a gin and tonic, whatever, beer. Another table and chairs here with another barbecue. It's all thought out, isn't it? It's just all the hedge planting going along there. That is what you call the red robin shrubs. Let's see. I love my gardening. Can't get over the size of these spaces. It's amazing. A lot of castles in this area. So the area we're in, I'm just wandering you off down to the uh, to the black and grey waste, so you might want to see that. So um, the, this particular area that we're in on this side of uh, Slovenia is not well visited by foreign tourists. They all go to Lake Bled that way but we like going off the beaten track we don't want to be on the tourist track you know everybody's been there seen that you've seen it in the photos you've heard about it forever we like discovering the off the beaten track so look at this how fantastic is that there's your grey waist look, look down there uh, this oh this is your um black waist that's all a bit fancy isn't it tip it down there and then you've got some oh oh i see it's cleaning inside there oh oh god <laughs> trust me oh it's all happening it's all going off how clever is that So more electric. I don't know why that would be there. No, I don't know what it is. Let's stop messing about with it. But yeah, so very impressive. So here we are. That's the road we were supposed to be coming down, but um, they're digging it all up and everything. So we had to sort of do a bit of a diversion. But yeah, here we are. So going to be peaceful tonight. Anyone's here? Yeah, so if anybody wants to visit Slovenia, I would say um, have a good old travel round. Just don't go to the, the areas that everybody knows about because so far we have seen such stunning areas, countrysides, houses, old barns, lovely people, really love it. Um, Brilliant for motorhomes and travelling around. Well worth coming here. We're just filling up now with water. And we've put in 50 cents. 
and that's going to give us how many litres? 50 litres, it's 10 cents per 10 litres. So that's, so that's not, not bad. Not a lot of money, but it's fantastic services. Yeah, and uh, obviously the black waste is there, which I showed you the other day. So we've been here now two nights and we've been the only ones here. Um, unfortunately, we haven't been able to use the barbecues up there, which I walked you around the other day, because it's absolutely been chocking down with rain. It's been like a uh, British summer. Grey, overcast, look at it. <laughs> but um, we've managed to catch up with a few bits and pieces. So we're just doing all this now. Great um, grey waste disposal there. But um, yeah, it's a fantastic air, says Mark. Look, it's just. <laughs> just <laughs> the water pressure is fantastic, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> He's not paying attention, that's what it is. <laughs> what are they going to do it again? Yeah, so we're just um, doing all this filling and emptying and all the rest of it, and then we're going to go off and um, visit a castle. Probably wasted about one tenth of water there. <laughs> look at the state of him. Look at these trousers. Look. It's like he's wet himself. I have. <laughs> so we've just left our camper stop, which we spent two nights at. It was fantastic. It was a really quiet, nice site. And we've got about five different places that we're heading to today that Denise has all planned out. The first place is a castle. Um, I don't think it's going to take us long to get there, to be fair. Castle. That is the castle. So up there on the hill is the castle that we're going to now. And it is called... Uh... In 500 metres, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Gunte, Podsreader, Brestanica, heading to Bistrip, Rob Sotley, Podsreader. There we go. <laughs> So it looked like the entrance into the castle is too steep and wet so we're continuing on and we'll probably give that a miss because I don't think there's a great deal to see there anyway. Um, so we were just coming along to turn round but look at this beautiful village that we're driving through now and the fantastic church. It's actually more interesting than the uh, castle we're going to head to. We are heading to our second destination of the afternoon. We're not actually sure where we're off to. It could well be another solar farm, but we're kind of hoping not. This was a guy on a, on a park up spot we were staying on, recommended coming here. So we're intrigued to see where we're going to again today. We're about 10 kilometers now away from our destination and um, Although this road is quiet, um, you're, we're getting larger vehicles coming the other way and there's banks either side. It's quite nerve wracking to be sat as a passenger. Full countryside, rolling hills straight ahead. You could be in the UK, you really could. What with the uh, grey cloud tonight, it does look really uh, British. Apparently Slovenia is one of the cleanest countries in the world and it really is, it's um, beautifully clean. Beautiful barns that they have everywhere in Slovenia. They're always open, open sides. Beautiful church up there on the hill. If you've enjoyed watching our videos and would like to join us in the beautiful country of Slovenia, then click on that like button, subscribe to us, it's free to do so, and come with us on our journey. I don't know, frogs. There we go, we've got a frog warning on the road. I'll be going hopping mad if we don't see any. Right, we're on this road now. We're trying to get to a castle that's up on the hillside. So it'll be interesting if we can do it. There's a seven and a half ton weight limit 
and it's Grad Postrada we're going 14% inc incline which is steep there's no lorries over seven and a half ton doesn't it yeah what do I don't know it's up to you uh, up to you so Denise is making the decision now if I to carry know. on or um, I would say um, yeah no because I'm making a decision then and if it goes Pete Tong <laughs> I'll leave it up to you well I'll go so far and yeah you can feel. always you can always roll back you have got a vehicle <laughs> no, no, I know there's a car behind me now so I know. at least give me enough gap I don't know if he's giving me enough gap but if you think he knows I'm going to roll back so this it? could be an exciting uh, hill climb here I wonder if this um, road works all the way up there I don't know Let's see if we we can get up here. What faster than this? I'll go as fast as you can up here. It's a nerve wracking journey. It's really muddy, isn't it? Yeah. This was a. Why don't we always end up in these bloody I would say we'll let that go past anyway when we can. Yeah, this is this is no great road to be on, really. There's another way out. I would say. I can't because we're in traffic lights, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we are. Road. We haven't got any choice. Well, keep our fingers crossed here that we can get on and we can find a different way out of here. Fingers crossed that we've just gone through the worst part of that. It looks like we're on to a new road now, which is good because that's a bit of a nerve-wracking old drive. More road works. We're keeping our fingers crossed they weren't as bad as the last ones. Oh dear. They look like they could well be. The green light, here we go for the next round of road works. We're hoping they're going to be okay. really do pick some fantastic roads. So we're actually climbing quite a long way up here to get to this um, castle. At least it's a good road going up here. Still got about a mile and a half to go of climbing. Oh. Well, we've made it up that um, roadworky hill. There we are, part there. So, yes, raining again, lovely British weather. So it's all built into the rock there. This is where we are. The lucky door. What's that, the cafe or coffee shop or something? Souvenir shop. Oh, what they're saying, we've got snakes here, have we? 
Let's have a little look. Ooh. Ooh. Three species of poisonous snakes live in Slovenia. The ass viper is the rarest of the three by far. Thank goodness. It lives on a mountain meadows along the border with Italy on the other side of the Italian border. Its habitat is continuous all the way to Spain. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we've had a few spiders in Daffy just recently. Ooh. Ooh. The silk that spiders use to spin their webs has incredible properties. It's stronger than steel, but also elastic and has light as a feather. Above all, it is well tested. Nature began to develop and test spider silk at least 400 million years ago when the first ancestors of today's spiders evolved. <laughs> Ooh. You won't believe how cold it is now and raining. Oh. Thing is, there's so many castles in Slovenia, you wouldn't believe it. Hello. Ooh, what have we got going on there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, the weather's rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> they do look lovely, don't they? <laughs> If we stayed, where would we park up for the night though? Because we're in our motor home and we're parked just in that bit of car park there. You can park there for the night, can you? With a big rock under the wheel. <laughs> say no to her. Oh, please. That castle, doesn't it? It looks beautiful. 800 it? years old. 800 years old. Oh, first century. Oh, look at these lovely goblets. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, we say cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the exhibition, mm. photographic exhibition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So they're all very nice. Yeah. Nice lovely cake there. Cake there. Lots of wine. So they're going to have a hopefully uh, a concert tonight. And. Um, they're hoping people are turn up. They've invited us and we can stay in the car park that we're, we've parked up in for tonight, so that's really good. So I think we've come to the concert. <laughs> 